Welcome to the installation video of the Kurt 60645 Underbed Install Kit with the 60612 Double Lock Easy R Gooseneck Hitch on a 2015 Ford F350 short bed. We estimate that this installation will take one to two hours depending on your level of expertise. These are the tools necessary for the install. Begin by removing the spare tire. Peel off the heat shield located under the truck bed above the rear axle. Next, install the cross arms between the truck bed and the frame. Insert the front cross arm with the holes facing the front of the truck in front of the rear tire over the low point on the frame. Once the cross arm is partially inserted, guide it the rest of the way from underneath the truck. It should span the frame rails and be behind the shock mount bracket on the passenger side. Slide the cross arm as close to the back of the truck as possible. Use a mallet if necessary. With the holes facing the rear of the truck. Install the second cross arm by inserting it in the same place as the first, in front of the rear tire and over the low point in the frame. Do not slide the cross arm towards the back of the truck. To assist in positioning the center section, you can use the included bolt retainers to hold two of the carriage bolts in place prior to lifting the center section up to the cross arms. The center section will be installed with the handle guide on the driver's side of the vehicle. The carriage bolts and retainers will be used in the two center mounting holes that will face the front of the vehicle. Insert a half inch carriage bolt through one of the mounting holes in the center section and put a bolt retainer on the carriage bolt. Be sure that the serrations in the bolt retainer are angled away from the center section and use one of the included spacers as a tool to push the bolt retainer into position. Repeat this on the second mounting hole. Place the center locator into the cylinder of the center section. Lift the center section up to the cross arms. Slide the front cross arms to the center section and fasten the carriage bolts with the hex flange nuts. Move the center section roughly into position and fasten the remaining attachment points of the cross arms to the center section using the half inch carriage bolts and hex flange nuts. Insert the carriage bolts in through the center section and out the cross arms and finger tighten. To check the placement of the cross arms, hold the side plate against the frame and compare the mounting hole locations. In this case, the cross arms need to be moved towards the front of the vehicle. Using a mallet, adjust the placement of the cross arms as needed. Use the side plate again to double check that the placement of the cross arms is correct. Diesel model trucks will require the plate mounting hardware to be fish wired into position. To do this, insert the coiled end of the fish wire through the mounting hole location in the vehicle frame and out the access hole. Pass the coiled end of the fish wire through the spacer and thread the bolt into the coil. Hold the opposite end of the fish wire, allowing the bolt to pass through the frame and out the mounting hole. Lift the passenger side plate into position, threading the fish wire through the mounting hole. If the hardware falls back into the frame, use the fish wire to pull the hardware back through the frame and side plate. Remove the fish wire and fasten the hardware with a 3 quarter inch hex flange nut. Insert a 3 quarter inch carriage bolt with a spacer through the inside of the frame and out the side plate and attach it with a 3 quarter inch hex flange nut. Next, attach the passenger side plate. Like on the driver's side, hold the side plate against the frame to check the mounting hole location alignment. Using a mallet, adjust the placement of the cross arms as needed.
Lift the side plate into position and use a 3 quarter inch carriage bolt to help hold the side plate in place. Loosely attach the passenger side plate by inserting a half inch carriage bolt down through the plate tab and frame. Attach it with a half inch hex flange nut. Remove the 3 quarter inch carriage bolt and reinsert the bolt with a spacer through the inside of the frame and out the side plate. Attach it with a 3 quarter inch flange nut. Loosely attach the driver's side plate to the cross arms by inserting the two 5 8 inch carriage bolts with spacers through the plate and out the cross arms. Attach the carriage bolts with the included 5 8 inch hex flange nuts. Repeat this process on the passenger side. Torque all the fasteners to the values specified in the supplied instruction in the following order. First, torque the center section to the cross arms. Next, torque the side plate to the truck frame. Lastly, torque the side plates to the cross arms. Drill a pilot hole from underneath the truck bed through the hole in the center locator using a 3 16 inch drill bit. Using the center section as a guide, drill four holes for safety chain loops from underneath the truck bed. Make sure that the drill holes are located on the lower rib section of the truck bed. Using a four inch hole saw, drill a hole from the top of the truck, taking care not to drill through the center locator. We recommend using a cutting fluid to ease this process. Remove the center locator by pulling it up through the hole. You may find that the safety chain new bolts do not fit well into the previously drilled holes. To ensure that the safety chains will move freely, slightly widen the holes with a step drill bit. Clean the area, being careful to remove all metal bits and cutting fluid. Carefully deburr the cut holes and cover any exposed metal with a rust preventative or touch-up paint. Optionally, for a clean finished look, insert the rubber edging around the 4-inch hole. Place the chrome ring into position and fasten it with the three flathead cap screws. Insert the safety chain U-bolts down through the drilled holes. From underneath the truck, place a washer, a spring, another washer, and a 5 8 inch nylock nut on each of the four U-bolt legs. Tighten the nuts until they are flush with the bottom of the U-bolt. Insert the cast lock pin into the ball cylinder with the handle hole located on top. Insert the handle from the outside of the vehicle through the hole in the center section end plate and through the rod guide. From underneath the truck, slide one 3 8 inch washer and compression spring over the handle rod. Insert the handle rod into the locking pin and secure it with a hex head flange screw and nylock nut. Install the spare tire. Lastly, find a suitable place to position the product usage sticker. We have chosen a spot in the wheel well near the gooseneck handle. Now that everything is installed, let's go over the operation of your new gooseneck hitch. To remove the pin and reposition the ball, pull the handle out as far as possible and rotate it clockwise until the locking pin is disengaged and locked out. Insert the ball into the cylinder by aligning the ball groove with the cylinder pin. Rotate the handle counterclockwise until the locking pin snaps back into position. Before towing, always double check to make sure that the pin passes completely through the ball and cylinder. 
When not in use, the gooseneck ball can be flipped over and conveniently stored within the cylinder and covered with the provided rubber cap. If the groove and pin are not aligned, simply rotate the ball until it drops into place. This completes the installation video of the Kurt 60645 Underbed Install Kit with a 60612 Double Lock EVR Gooseneck Hitch on a 2015 Ford F350 Shortbed. Kurt, the first name in towing products.